again, but don't watch what people say. We're all here for a specific reason, each and every one of us, and be free. So, one of the first tip is basically what I and I are doing right now. I and I is grounding and getting some charge, and also the sun, very important. So stay tuned. Make sure you like this video, and if you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe to this channel. You're going to only learn good things. Yes, I. not for the idolaters this channel is not for the sleeping sheep this channel is not for the walking dead this channel is not for the intelligent fools at I and I, ask yourself, am I one of the following? I and I no debate, I and I don't argue, I and I no war, I and I just agree to disagree and keep it forward. I and I speaking to a specific set of people. They know themselves. Living alone, off the grid, gets difficult sometimes because you forget wood for the fire to cook. Let's go ashes. Let's go.
Yes, I. So, and I would say, I would call this the second tip out of the seven. I would say home economics. Yeah, man, because you have to know for cook, living alone, off grid. And also, have a whole heap of strength ready for work. Stargaze by the fireside with the animals. Yes, I, I and I will call this one mentally stable, you know. Mental stability. You have to mentally stable to live alone off grid. So number three out of the seven tips living alone off grid I will call this one mental stability because animal is the best thing we show emotions yes I peace living alone off grid of course I'm gonna be up reading the wise mind by his imperial majesty Emperor Selassie the first studying ways and means how to improve Iron Man videos for the kings and the queens and playing with the kitty I love playing with kitties meow <laughs> and queen so what I and I doing right here I and I is just watering some beetroot because to live a self-sustainable life an off-grid lifestyle of living you have to also plant and eat let your food be a medicine and let your medicine be your food so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna water these beetroot right here and what I'm going to do after I have some colorloo right there I'm going to transplant them and put them right there so they stay tuned and I think I'm going to call this one physically fit when you're living off grid alone you have to be physically fit yes I <laughs> 
Yes, I. So I'm on a pine tree right here, two meter trees right here, and these are the colors who are going to transplant in this bed right here. I'm on a lime tree, I'm on a cocoa tree, I'm on a banana tree, I'm on a planting tree, I'm on also a okra tree, I'm on a pepper tree, I'm on a skeleton tree, I'm on a gungu tree, I'm on also a red peas tree, I'm on also a cow peas, I'm on a bird pepper, I'm on a Pumpkin. I'm on a papaya tree right here, so just start blossom. See there. I'm on a sour orange. Grateful man. I'm on a pine. I'm on a keen. It's a blessing man. And grateful for the Mozilla yam, you know. Yeah man. Rear yam this Mozilla, you know. Give a thanks. <laughs> Yes, I. And out of seven tips, living alone off grid, I'm going to call this one entertain yourself. Learn how to entertain yourself. <laughs> And I'm on this truly grateful I can play the guitar, beat I jump, play I keyboard, or I man can dance.
CSI and number 6 out of 7 tips living alone off grid I'm on going to call this one meditation whether it's an active one or a standstill one yes I Yes, I and tip seven living alone off the grid. I and I leave the best for last spirituality. You have to be spiritually fit to live in these places because trust I and I. Let me give you a quick example. You have things when you have spirit, people call them doppy. But you see, when you have the spirit, them and the doppy, them now vibrate upon the same speed, them can't touch you. So you have to stay spiritually fit. One of these days I'm going to give you the story where the people them tell I and I Because the people them that I'm on community fear I and I you know. Them say I'm on is a But then call I and I One maroon, one special kind of maroon But long story short You have to depend on a spiritual level when living off the grid Yeah man, especially these places Maroon ground Yes I You have to vibrate at a different level So ghost, um, spirit Low energy vibration can't reach a car, you vibrate higher than them. Zin, yeah, man. So, I man leave the best for last, which is I go and call it spiritually fit. Yeah, man, you have to rise and give your praises every time because without the most, I hear nothing. Yes, I. So, I man, I just add some wood to the fire and just give you some praises. Hush ashes. Yes, I. <laughs> I'm about to chin out, I'm busy, man, man. No, I'm making these mingis, Tim Ta. You can do this, man, in the unbe, don't you let in Jerry and say, Tens, you're a bell at your yucker, and I'm your bell loading, and then Minil. I'm a tool for Tina, I'm a tag bank, if you are in G, Mingis Yante, Natina. Heal him, Miss Ganam, Lizella Lamoa, man. Ja! Rastafari Emperor Yeli Selassie, the first Empress Menenai. Father and Mother of Creation, King Alpha, Queen Omega. Beginning without end. Yemen yeah, I man is truly grateful. Thank you for all what you have done, all what you are doing and what to come. Bless the herb steam and smoke the food we eat, the beverage we drink, our thought and our mind. Use us to do thy works, let thy works be done. And when our family, friends and foes, love us, wolf in sheep, clothing, come to eat up our flesh, let they stumble and fell. Oh, plead my castle, jaw with them that strive with us. Fight against those that fight against us. Let no weapon from against us prosper. Hallelujah, Sat Amasagana, the goose Nagas. Ja! Rastafar I, Empress Menenai. Give a thanks every time. God swear unto David, according to his flesh. It is written in Revelation 1.
Imperial Majesty, Haile Selassie I, speaks on spirituality. The Temple of the Most High begins with the human body, which houses our life, the essence of our existence. Africans are in bondage today because they approach spirituality through religion provided by foreign invaders and conquerors. We must stop confusing religion and spirituality. Religion is a set of rules, regulations and rituals created by humans which were supposed to help people to grow spiritually. Due to human imperfection, religion has become corrupt, political, devised and a tool for power struggle. Spirituality is not a theology or ideology. It is a simple way of life, pure and original, as was given by the Most High of creation, the Creator. Zin. Spirituality is a network linking us to the Most High, the universe and each other. As the essence of our existence, it embodies culture, our true identity, nationhood and destiny. A people without a nation and is in spiritual and physical bondage because our leaders are turning to outside forces for solution to African problems. When everything Africa needs is within her. When African righteous people come together, the world will come together. This is our divine destiny. Yes, I. And that reading was from members of a new race by his imperial majesty, Emperor Haile Selassie the first. Very great book. You should get it. And as soon as the kings and queens, it was such a beautiful day, beautiful night, beautiful evening here at the house of Judah, river Judah, and all about. I am honest, truly grateful, and I am honest, truly thankful. Yes, I. If you don't like this video, like it right now. And I just want the kings and the queens them know, say, yeah, man, anything is possible with the most I coming from my and I personally. Just put him first and everything come after. Zine? Yes, I. So, I hope the kings and the queens them full joy. The seven tips living alone off grid, you know? Yeah, man, you have to mentally fit, spiritually fit. You have to know economic, home economics, I should say. You have to pan with nature. You have to I mean, you have to have the whole thing. Yes, and there's a lot more things to living alone off grid, you know. I'm on this giving you know, what the spirit tell I to give the kings and the queens, you know. Yeah, man. So, any which way, kings and queens, you don't see what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna build a place to uplift, motivate, inspire, aid and teach all who can aid and teach. So, if you like the movement, support the eye. To the zelle, to the cash up there. And if you cannot support I and I, no way, no farm. I and I ask the kings and the queens them just like this video right now. Yeah man, I man is truly grateful and I man is truly thankful. And if you watch out all of this episode, kings and queens, just comment the word off grid. Yes I. So until next time, kings and queens. Ja! Thank you all for your love, contributions, sponsors, donations, and support. Link up the Ganja Tours on Instagram for an awesome adventure to aid in this development. Or feel free to donate and contribute no matter how small the amount is. And I is truly grateful, thankful, and humbled. And if it wasn't for y'all contribution and help, I and I wouldn't reach thus far. Do good, stay good, eat healthy, and do what's right. Stay prayed up to the most I have faith, trust, and believe. And don't do what you love, but do what you love. Ja, Rastafari.